all 50 pence. Okay, so basically the, the conspiracy theory goes that 50 cent isn't real. He's just a character that's being played. Possib I mean, that's probably accurate of his Poss persona now. Possibly by multiple people. No. Okay. That's probably more... No, I mean, I've seen, him on an I've seen him on an interview with Piers Morgan, for God's sake. And I thought I might just start to give Janet Street Porter a bit of the Indy Club love. Well, so have I. He's been on Graham Norton. He's been on everything. Yeah. No. Well, well, no, it's uh, basically the theory goes that there was a, another 50 Cent, and there was, who died in 1987. His name's Calvin Martin, okay? And that the real the real 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson III, okay, he's not actually uh, lived the life that he claims, and that his entire backstory... What, so he wasn't shot in the face? Well, uh, that there's a, a sideline to that as well, but... So what you're yeah. saying is, is that 50 Cent became a rapper... He yeah. had a boring background, but yeah. then knew this other guy who died in the late 80s the original 90s and used his backstory and family story. And name, because the Kelvin Martin was called 50 Cent. He was a famous gangster. Do, do you know what? I, I can I can quite... Oh, careful, Tom. Crikey. Sorry. I can quite see somebody like 50 Cent stealing another person's identity. I'm right. not saying that he has, for legal right. reasons, obviously. Um, but yeah, plagiarism is, okay. a, is a thing, isn't it, in the music industry and any other creative industry? Well, 50 actually came out and said that he took the name from Kelvin Martin. So he's admitted that he well, knew about him. Yeah, but if it's a famous gangster, yeah, and at the time in the very early 2000s when he came to rose to the noughties. Yeah, but he, he, yeah. he would have been gangster rap. It's not, of course, he would take a name from a gangster. It's like a rapper calling himself Capone or something. It's like, it, it's a good name, actually. It's a good point. They're busy. They're I'm busy. not saying it's legit. Well, yeah, but, uh, I'm saying do, it's do you a think? Do you theory. think that Curtis Jackson is AKA the one that is actually called himself Fifty Cent that we know growing up? Was he actually shot in the face, or did he copy that as well? Well, there's there's uh, there's some theories that he shot himself. <laughs> what in the face? Yeah, he shot himself to uh, to, to perpetuate records, the though, and everything else. There's nah. oh okay. Nah. I don't see that being nah. a thing. Okay. Don't see it. So oh, we, he's probably, yeah, he definitely okay. obviously put, took the put name. That in but no that's in the no palm that's as well. I'll, I'll pick okay. one, shall I? Right, you pick, in the pick no. one. Go on. It's definitely in the no. I've right. only got two left after this one. Oh, crumbs. The wise owl laughs at the crowd. Okay. See, owls again. Yeah, owl. see, isn't this a bit weird? Okay. Now, now this, this actually has some credence behind it, okay? So okay. we all know Can I Bus? Yeah. Yeah? No. Channel Zero? Yes! Sorry. You got overexcited Cannabis. there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now. Of, as well we know, he used to go on about the US government and the greys and conspiracies and all of his raps. Ah, now we're okay. getting on to aliens. You know, the Here deception of 1947, yeah. all of that. Okay. Yeah. Now, in 2012, King of the Dot, uh, Cannabis had been uh, not in the scene for a number of years. People haven't seen him, okay? And he rocks up to this rap battle against disaster, like first time in years. He's wearing sunglasses, he's got his arm in a sling, right? And his behavior was frankly bizarre. He was acting really, really weird. Uh, something was seriously off with him. He hadn't been in a national lockdown for 12 months. Because <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I think now. he was in self-imposed exile after embarrassing himself years before. I think we were all in that. But um, yeah, so anyway, he's, he's in this rap battle. St suddenly starts ranting about the wise owl laughs at the crowd. I laugh at your style. The wise owl laughs at the crowd. Okay. Right. Which a lot of people think, once again, is a reference to Bohemian Grove, where you have the giant owl statue mm -hmm. and, you know, the Moloch worship and stuff like that. After the battle, he goes on Tumblr and claims that the reason that he didn't do very well in the battle and was acting weird is that he was kidnapped, assaulted and interrogated by the men in black within the days beforehand. He claims that a helicopter came and they, they kidnapped For him. For what reason? Because he knew too much. What, just because he rapped about aliens? Yeah, basically. It's a very good song. Okay. I mean, and, are they going to come for us because we sit and talk about aliens on a show on a weekly basis? Well, or? I don't know. I don't think we're as famous as uh, as Cannabis was at the time. But anyway, he, he said, I was abducted by human blood-sucking leeches what? who did not make their identity known, but I assume were agents of the dark world. Okay. He then later went on Facebook and said that it was fake and he didn't write it and somebody else wrote it. I think he's been smoking something. Acted weird, wrote something, and then had... You know when, you get, you know when you're drunk? Have you ever written like a Facebook status when you're really drunk? Saying you're you abducted by the, the MIB. Yeah, and then you, you, the you wake up the following morning and then you're like, oh, delete. I know, if we, you're we famous, know too like many that. people would have like right. got that. So maybe he just had a bit of, uh, bit of sobriety there and thought... So 
I what you're saying is you, you buy into the wise owl laughs at the crowd. No, I buy into the fact that he had a good time and then <laughs> he regretted it afterwards. <laughs> I'm not saying it was I, anything, uh, you know. That's how he got his arm in a sling, eh? It's all right. You can fall over when you're drunk and you're not. I think, could you explain all of these? It could be just a show. Bruce Annex. I think some mind-altering substances might have led to the creation of a lot of these. But It's two left, Tom. I'm done with that one. Okay. I'm done with that one. I'm so we've got one in the... You think it's legit pile? I've got one. Okay. This is going horribly. Go on. Viper is multiple people. <laughs> so do you guys know Viper? No. No. Okay. Viper is, is very famous for his... His album, the Magnum Opus, yeah. his his best work. Your cowards don't even smoke crack. What's up with that? Your cowards don't even smoke crack. Which came out in two thousand and eight. Okay, now he's. I even smoke crack, and I don't think I'm a coward. But well, he he was very famous. He was. To that. He 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 got well known around two thousand and thirteen for putting oh. out loads of weird albums, right? pioneering sort of cloud wrap uh, elements and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason he hit the newspapers was because he released 347 albums in 2014. What? What? 347 albums. What? Yeah. As of 2020... That's like nearly one a day. Yeah. As of 2020, it's estimated that he's released uh, 1,042 albums. How many How many tracks on each? Um, not always loads, but but a fair few. But an album is different to an EP because it has to have so many yeah. tracks on it. It's got to be like a minimum of eight or nine, isn't it? Something that, like that. That's a crazy amount of output. Well, yeah, but it, not being funny, but it may not be very good. Well, well it doesn't have to be, well, but to put any song together in that time well, is pretty yeah, what, what stands out level, wasn't it? It's like... What stands out about these things are the poor production quality, badly recorded verses, and frankly, bizarre album artwork. And, and track titles and stuff. So I checked his band camp yesterday and he's got 246 listed releases, including such classics as Remember Black Jesus, I am the final messenger given to you by my father Jesus Christ before Christ Jesus returns on or before 2037, there will be no other messenger or message. That that's, was the name of a track. That's the track name. Or, Sorry, or, that was just one track's name. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, I, I, I just thought that was lyrics. Or another classic, wanted by the United States government, dead or alive, US government says Viper is wanted, dead or alive, one million reward. Have you ever is seen Google in there? So no, what? No, you, but you, have you ever been on like um, wish.com, right? And you yeah, look I at get like knockoff it products and it's like you go and buy a USB cable and it's like USB cable, iPhone, Android, da 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 da. For so, and it lists like every single thing and every single Sounds possible like word that could ever be connected. And it would say USB yeah. 1, 2, 9, 56 and whatever else. So, it comes up in every possible search. That's what it sounds like to me. It's a wish album. It's Googled it. Well, most of his so most of his releases are, to be fair, remixes, chopped and screwed tracks, reused material, etc. But to put out 347 albums in a year, the theory is that he's not actually one guy and that's just a bunch of people taking the mickey and just pumping out rehashes for monetary gain. Well, if he's and not just pumping it out. If he's not doing anything else, mate, you, if he... It's an album a day. It's an album a day. I mean, I, if you throw enough crap at a fan and some of it will stick, that's probably what he's going yeah, but for. None isn't of it, it is sticking. I've never heard of him. Some people have. That's why he's made it onto our show. He must be making some money out of it. He's probably spending it all on crack, isn't he, though? Fair to be place, fair, judging by those. What, wake up every morning and go, oh, new album's out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll download that one. Album launch party um, every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Can you imagine mate, that? It's, nah, it's just someone in a room with like basic beats. So and like just he's basically just saying words over a track, sticking is he, it on. Uh, and so you you it. think that he's made all one thousand and forty whatever no, albums? No, okay, no, but if, if okay, okay so if, that's got to go in the if yes it's part. like eight, if it's if it's like eight, it's in, it's in the yes part. I agree. Okay, all right. Okay, there's two in there now. Been outvoted. Oh, last one. Last one. You that's yours. Me. You do the honors. All right. I thought I did the Viper one. So the last one is. Okay, this is my favorite. Go for it. Nicki Minaj does not exist. Okay. Discuss. Well, I've seen her trunk, and I tell you what, it definitely does exist. Okay. That anaconda video. Right. So it's, on. it's 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 not so much that she as a person doesn't exist. Okay. So we all know Nicki Minaj, very image-driven artist. I think I've heard about this a lot. 
uh, but a lot is about the look, isn't it? I've heard about this one. You know, her whole personality is very theatrical, very polished. Yeah, yeah. I've seen her on American Idol. So the, the theory is that she's just a character whose likeness they use to sell records, and that all of her songs are actually just Jay Z versus <laughs> sped up <laughs> and yeah. altered to sound Daily feminine. Nelly. And if you slow down <laughs> Nicki Minaj records, it's just a Jay-Z record. And do you know what? I've actually heard someone that's done it, and it does sound like Jay-Z. I'm yeah. not joking, it does. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire, it's my empire. And yes, I call a shot, I am the umpire. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire, it's my empire. And yes, I call a shot, I am the umpire. Quickly, though, like, she <laughs> raps quite... <laughs> quite quickly if you pardon the pun um over some of her tracks so i mean how fast would jay-z have had to have wrapped if it well, slowed no, down well, or no, is it just no, the tempo of the pitch he is sped up he raps yeah, yeah, and then they yeah. speed it up so you oh. slow her records down it sounds like jay-z what what record label is Nicki minaj on okay so if you want to go on into the same that as drake's she's in young money which yeah, is so an imprint of cash money which is distributed by republic which is a division of universal music group Jay-Z is on Rock Nation, which is oh, an independent yeah. standalone label, which has a worldwide partnership with Universal Music Group. Drop the bomb. Okay, plus Jay-Z put out the blueprint, she put out the pink print. What do you think? Final one of the day. There's obviously influences there. She obviously respects Jay-Z. Well, yeah. yeah. And, okay, I, if you sped my voice up, okay. Right. Wh who would I sound like? We're here to talk about it. This is Aliens and Stuff. We'll there try it out. <laughs> okay, let's try it out. Sing something. Um, maybe, no. maybe you shouldn't. No, yeah, I okay. shouldn't do right. that. Cool. But you could make anyone sound like anyone by by changing the tempo and the pitch on it slightly. Shortly. No, that's no. no. Cadence, accent, everything like that. Okay. They're both from New York, aren't they? Let's be frank. It doesn't matter because it's obviously nonsense. But yeah, it's nonsense. <laughs> what, <what's going laughs> what, what about when she's live and doing a performance and you can hear her breathing and everything else? Like, well, well, everyone, puts, we... everyone, everyone, everyone lip syncs these days, don't they? No. Not the great Nicki Minaj, surely. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're a massive fan, Tom. You, do, you, you don't want this to be real at all, do you? I've only seen... I've only, mate, I, I could talk... Hey, Chun, go Chun, I'm Chun Li was a good record. I'm just going to throw that down. Chun, Chun Li. Li. I'm going to go undecided on this Nicki one. Minaj song. We're going to okay. put this one in the undecided pile. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed our brief foray into I the did. rap conspiracy it, iceberg. It really went and complimented my peppermint tea nicely. It, have so you finished it? I did, yeah. Anyway. Let's wrap this up then and go home, shall we? Wrap it up. Oh, no pun intended. You, you pardon the pun. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.